my channel it's time for life what's cool what's cool what's happening welcome back if you're not already subscribed hit that subscribe button right now i mean hit bump as zonto on that subscribe button right now before you even start listening to this video i thought today it would be fun to do a get ready with me video i have about 30 minutes to get ready i'm going to an event and for once i'm gonna put on some makeup i haven't put on makeup in a while um, if you're looking at my face and wondering what's going on, I did some multi-masking with my Glam Glow um, mini masks and left it on quite a bit and now I look very interesting. Every now and again, I like to use this little guy and if you haven't seen my video on how I, <laughs> how I attempted to remove blackhead and whiteheads with a mask, click the info uh, icon left or right um, above and I basically whoosh, 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 scrape all the white heads away and yeah actually i never get black heads but yeah the white heads you guys forget all these masks get you one of these it's permanent you just have to wash it and disinfect it real real good and that's about it so that's what i'm gonna do and when i come back with a smooth and nice looking nose then i will come back and do my skincare routine the tone I use Witch Hazel from Savers Girl. I ain't got money to spend on all these fancy toners. Still use my Ferreo device, but toning really makes a difference. Trust and believe. So afterwards, I use an essence to bring my pH levels back to light, and it just penetrates um, your pores better. And everybody has a way of applying these things. Some people will go like up because they want gra gravity to kind of, you know, not work against them, so they push everything up because they don't want to sag in the skin. Oh, yes, usually go all over. Then I go for my hyaluronic acid, girl. That stuff is so amazing. Now, I thought my skin was lacking like oil, and so I would put like oily stuff on my face back in the day. But I realized that actually what I need is moisture. Now, I try to drink about two, two to 2.5 liters a day these days, which helps a lot as well. But this hyaluronic acid that you can buy, oh, girl, mm, yes, it's great. So, just going like that. And again, people do all sorts of things. People go to stippling. Listen, I do not have the time of day. I just, especially now. So now we're just gonna remove all these braids that I did in my hair. It took me like 20 to 30 minutes to do. They're really chunky, really huge, not very neat. And I'm just gonna unravel them now. I never know what I'm gonna do with my hair. From one day to the next, I don't know what my hairstyle is gonna be for that day. Ever. And I like using my hands for makeup, y'all. I don't like cleaning brushes. <laughs> I still always think it's pretty decent and you get good coverage. You see? So now it looks like I'm going for battle, but really I'm just going somewhere nice. But anyway, um, concealer under my eyes. Yep, I use my fingers for this as well. So by the end of this, my fingers look like I've been playing with crayons or something. But yeah, I just like the way you're in control of it more when you use your fingers. This I say until I have money to buy brushes, of course. I'm just gonna <laughs> highlight where my brows are by putting concealer on the outer parts and this is very messy I don't want it to be all kinds of perfect I am not a beauty guru and I just wipe this all out and I don't use any brushes I'm tired of these brushes man like I don't know and brushes are very expensive so if you're not going to use them see now that i decided to get my alicia keys on and stop wearing makeup pretty much come and see how man is saving money you know with makeup it's like there's this new thing and that new thing and then you want to try it and i actually told myself that if i haven't finished all my lip products and stuff like that i just won't buy any new products but then I kind of realized, then you're be, you'll be left with like all the bold ones or your like Mac Ruby Woo type thing. Make it neat and really decide the shape that I'm going for. So we're not going for super perfect brows, but we still want them to be somewhat defined and, you know, present. Brush down. On to priming the eyelids so I use a primer and then usually I put the concealer on top as well and this really helps to let your eyeshadow really stick to your face and not move 
so that's good but i don't think i did it very evenly so by the end of the night this wasn't really that great but hey ho this is stray hair and i don't know how that happened anyway so i'm gonna put this on and it is completely the wrong brush to use as well for what i'm doing but i'm being lazy i want to talk about people stunting on the gram stunting on youtube doing things for social media that are not very beneficial so the other day i went out with some friends and <clears throat> i was hugging my friend and lifting her kind of like that and i didn't really actually i was hugging her i didn't actually realize that i was lifting her it must be that strong but anyway um and then i was i did like two times because i couldn't even believe that i was lifting her and then another friend was like oh ooh, ooh, basically saying do it for the gram because she was going to make a boomerang we turned out to be very cute but it was a minute after or so that I realized that I'd really done something to my back and it was really quite horrible. And I was like, mm -mm. we stay doing stupid things for the gram and for YouTube. <laughs> I don't want to be about that life. But you've seen all these videos that are going viral on YouTube right now. Like I went to my worst reviewed, the worst reviewed salon or restaurant or masseuse or plastic surgeon, all these videos. And although entertaining to watch, mm, I think some of us... Some of us just need to stay put and just watch people that are willing to make those risks, man. I always have to look in a small mirror and make sure that I'm not looking crazy. Because you know, with highlight, you could go crazy. Make sure it's not too much. Again, I don't have the right brushes for all this. I love how you can see like kind of the natural highlight. Like when you turn your face in the right direction, you can kind of see your natural highlight. And you just go on top of it. And I do like a sweeping motion because my brush is so interesting. But I ain't gonna lie, I got this brush for free. It was my friend's brushes. I wash them real good. They're mine. So on that front, I've got nothing to complain about. Do a bit of nose highlight. Just a little bit because I don't actually really like it that much. So I don't go back into, you know, the highlight. But I just like to highlight the high points of my face. So that when the lights hit, sit, I'm like, boom, radiant. So then I go lower down. And kind of buff out and blend out kind of the... any kind of harsh lines anyway i'm gonna use matte Marzell, griselda to line my lips using some brown color by mac to go in the center of my lips don't have any lipstick on them clear from any lipstick At all that's done girl we need to figure out what we're gonna do with this hair the hair actually looks so crusty and dry now that i look at it oh not not a good look not a good look but we're about to make it look really nice so i usually do not know what i'm gonna do with my hair i'll try a few hairstyles before i actually finalize and go for one but i never take too long because i do not have the time of day so i'm just kind of moisturizing it so that i look kind of nice i think after this event or the next day or something i washed my hair because mm, this is not cute so I'm thinking of doing like a half ponytail situation. But then you always need to be careful because I don't actually comb out my hair when I do these things, right? Because I want the curls to be there and be all kinds of popping. So however I sectioned my hair when I was doing the braids, that is kind of how it will look. And you kind of have to poof things out and brush things somewhere to make sure you don't see those lines. Those lines of where you made a part. So anyway, um... I really love this brush because it gets all the little hairs in but you wouldn't have wanted to hear the sound that it was actually making because <laughs> it sounded like I was brushing hay like the hair was so so not juicy but anyway people always ask me how do you do your hair how do you manage your hair so I decided not to speed this part up too much and let you see the actual process is just normal braids 
that I'm sure a lot of you can do, then I just remove them. And then from there, you just need to get creative with it. And from there, you can just do any kind of style. So that's what I'm doing here. And sometimes it looks a bit all over the place. And that's where bobby pins are your absolute best friend. But yeah, so I did the half ponytail thing, poofed it up a bit at the top. As you can see on the left there, or your right actually, um, it's kind of mm, gone down a bit. So I'm poofing it up here. And I don't think you can see it in this video, but in the end I did fix that and it looked kind of normal. But it's because there was a part there. So yeah, I'm just going to fix my hair right now. And boom, bam. That is the end result. Uh, I am mad at it. I am mad. I had to do this like really, really fast. So anyway, if you see that behind my ear, don't worry. I'm not crying tears from my eye. <laughs> from my ear, I mean. That even sounds weird to say. Um, it was perfume. Mm -hmm. And it's yet to dry. So... I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I really have to go but it was fun spending time with you now if you're new here or if you're returning and you haven't subscribed yet yeah I don't know what you're doing I don't know what you're doing with this life you have to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click the notification bell okay if you want to get any notifications uh, about any videos coming up there's gonna be loads of different ones we're talking beauty we're talking fashion we're talking makeup we're talking hair natural hair this hair right here y'all but also other hair types we're talking food we're talking advice we're talking chit chat get ready with me videos we're talking story times the lot everything this is a lifestyle channel so kick your feet up baby and enjoy i'm gonna put the next video here or there somewhere i don't really know but it's time for me to go so hit bump stump and zone to on that subscribe button and i'll see you in the next one remember to make time for glorious life and take care God bless. Mm -hmm.